Hey Aries, it's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading for the end of May 2021. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? If this is your reading, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, it won't resonate for everybody, right? If you're interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description box. You can also check me out on my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry. Your bonus, how does your person feel is up on Vimeo. What are they not saying? What are they not revealing? How do they want to move forward for May 20th to the 31st, okay? Check it out. Also, I have my business course. So any of you guys are interested in starting your own online YouTube tarot business, do check that business course out on Vimeo. I share with you behind the scenes, real life data analytics, okay, um, how to make six figures in just four months, all the different means of income that you can make with this type of business and um, yeah, advice on how to get started, okay? So let's jump right into your reading areas. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, clear messages for Aries. So the current energy is the page of rods, okay? There's something here. Maybe you guys are messaging back and forth with someone, or maybe you want some kind of communication to come through, okay? Because something here has been maybe a little bit stuck. Maybe someone has been stuck in your head. Um, this could be you. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's something about someone feeling tied to a situation and they haven't been able to move forward from it. Um, and it could have been something that happened that they're in their head about. Um, we have the emperor. So it does look like Aries, you're wanting to take control of the situation. Some of you guys, you may be waiting for this person to take control, but there's a need for something to move forward. There's a need for someone to just, um, you know, be, if they're passionate about something, go for it, take action. I feel some of you guys are dealing with someone who, um, they just give you very little to work with, okay? Maybe they're giving you that page of wands energy where they're communicating, but they're not really doing much, right? You don't really know where things are going. You feel stuck. So let's see what happened in the past. Uh, we have the page of pentacles, more pages, right? The chariot in reverse with the nine of cups. I feel like whoever this person is, Aries, okay? It could be cancer. This is someone who really made you happy. I do feel both of you guys saw a lot of happiness and fulfillment with each other. Whether it was you guys coming together, enjoying each other's company, okay, time together. It's telling me that you guys were, you know, all laughs and giggles. I mean, you had a great time with each other. Um, however, I do feel this person, you know, they have a tendency to give you very little. They have a tendency to kind of just... Um, give you bare minimum and I think a lot of you guys you want more okay I feel like maybe you've been asking for more waiting for more and I'm seeing that something here wasn't able to move forward the chariot in reverse something could have stopped um, someone could have stopped putting an effort all together someone could have um, just pulled back and so it does look like there's some delays here let's see what's on your mind Aries So a lot of you guys, you're unsure as to where this is going to go, right? The high priestess, maybe some of you guys aren't talking to this person right now. Um, there's been some conflict of some sort, some defeat energy here with the five of swords. Some of you guys, you could have felt like they were being dishonest with you. You could have felt like there was some secrets or stuff that they didn't tell you. They weren't completely open about. They weren't transparent. And I feel a lot of you guys, um, if you guys are not talking with this person with the high priestess energy, you could be dealing with the Pisces. It's telling me that there's a lot of thinking right now, more than ever. You're able to actually think about what you want, what you're looking for, um, what connections you're willing to invest in, okay, and what's not worthy of you investing in. I do feel a lot of you guys, um, you could be in this high priestess energy because you're really focusing on, and, you know, strengthening your intuition. There could be some messages that are being sent to you right now, okay, in, in your um, in the spiritual realm. Let's see what's going on with your person's energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are not talking to this person or there could be very, very spotty communication. Yeah, we have someone who's very quiet, distant with the Four of Swords. This could be your person kind of taking a rest and... With the Four of Swords, it's also the energy of ghosting, silencing, not talking, retracting your energy. But it's definitely someone who may have gone through some conflict and feels, right now, I just need to be by myself. 
So this is someone who may be focusing on themselves right now with the Four of Swords. They may be healing, resting, rejuvenating, recuperating from something. But I also see them very much cut off communication. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who may feel, well, first off, it could be someone who's been dishonest with you, right? Lied to you or someone who just completely decided to just ghost you with no reason, okay? This could be someone who acts very cold and who's acting very detached to you as well. In terms of their feelings for you, this is someone who may feel like they want to clear the air with you, but they're going back and forth on it. And it's telling me that this is someone who may feel like they did you wrong in some way. Maybe they lied, they cheated, they deceived you. This is someone who wants to clear the air with you. They feel like it would be necessary. In terms of how they see moving forward, they're a little bit unsure, okay, Aries? This is someone who's going back and forth in their head. Should I or should I not? Should I reach out to Aries? Will Aries accept me back into their life? Because there is some kind of challenge or drama here, okay? There could be other people who perhaps have meddled in the connection, third parties, family, friends. And it's telling me that while they want to overcome this, it may not be easy. And so they're kind of going back and forth. Again, not communicating at this time, wanting to clear the air, wanting to make perhaps peace with you but not really sure how and so they're kind of in this four of swords energy where they're resting they're not talking let's see what you can expect coming into the near moment the outcome we have the justice the fool in reverse we got libra energy aries energy and the ace of rods in reverse so it does look like a lot of you guys your person has some trust issues, okay? There's definitely an energy of them wanting to come towards you, but not really, not wanting to take that risk, not wanting to put themselves out there in fear of perhaps rejection, in fear that you won't feel the same. This is someone who wants to have this new beginning with you. There's a beginning that wants to come, okay, together. But I feel a lot of you guys, there's an energy of holding back, being um, very foolish, being um, feeling as if like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't have the guts to, I don't have the courage. Okay. Um, it could be an Aries that you're connecting with, but there is some kind of justice that's being restored. Uh, I feel a lot of you guys, if you're a separation from this person, there is a need for balance. Okay. Harmony, balance to be restored in a connection. So this separation, this time apart can be really good to bring some kind of justice to a situation. It can also allow this person to really do a lot of thinking, um, as to, how they went wrong or how they showed up in the connection and how perhaps they should do better, okay? So that justice could be about restoring balance, okay, during a time where there's been imbalances. So let's get some clarity here for Aries. If this is your reading, Aries, like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out your bonus up on Vimeo. The Eight of Swords with the Emperor. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, um, Aries, this is your um, energy, King of Wands in reverse. You guys pulled back from something because it's been keeping you stuck. And I feel a lot of you guys, you wanted action. You wanted forward movement. You wanted change. And you weren't getting it from that person. If anything, you could have been getting the very opposite. You could have get could have been getting someone who was very in and out, very unreliable, comes in, they rush in, and then you don't hear from them for periods of time. Communication definitely was not there okay i do feel the challenge was to get to this happy place to get to this place where you felt emotionally balanced where you felt this person was sharing their self um a lot of you guys the challenge was for you guys to um feel the love from this person you could have been dealing with someone who was very emotionally closed off okay very cold okay they would it's like they would come in and you guys would have a great time and then you wouldn't hear from them right so let's see i feel like this is someone who also could have had some secrets with the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords in verse and the King of Swords in verse, they could be holding back a lot of important information and details about their life or what's going on with them. In the past, we had the Page of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. In the past, there definitely was a lot of indecision here about a commitment, the Ten of Pentacles. There was definitely promises or an idea that you guys would be able to reach this place of harmony, of um, long-term stability. I feel a lot of you guys were building toward this Ten of Pentacles with this person. You were investing, right? Page of Pentacles. You guys were investing for something for something in the long term. However, it does look like someone was a little bit selfish with this Nine of Cups energy. They could have been overindulgent or just thinking about themselves at the end of the day and i feel like that's what caused some indecision that's what caused this person to not really invest all the way maybe they were very in and out this could have been someone who had a choice between two people two options two paths and it's telling me that there was a decision that had to be made and whatever the decision was um it caused 
something to not move forward here with the chariot in reverse. Something stopped moving forward altogether. So ever since then, a lot of you guys, you've been holding back the High Priestess, the Five of Swords. You've been feeling very defeated, but also confused as to why this all happened, right? The Seven of Cups, you know, maybe you didn't really know if this person was dealing with someone or not. You never got the clarity. You never got the truth. You guys just kind of gave up and, you know, it was a defeat and you kind of just threw in a towel. But a lot of you guys, um, there is an energy of you... Doing a lot of thinking, reflecting seven of pentacles, and also trying to manifest, right? A lot of you guys, you may be manifesting new love, okay? It could be new love. It could be manifesting this person back into your life. But there's manifesting. And with the high priestess, is telling me that you guys have the ability to manifest. You're very intuitive. You um, you may be getting a lot of insight as well from the spiritual uh, realm, your spirit guides, and so forth. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. There's manifestation taking place here. Let's get one more card for you guys. I priestess came out again. Yeah, you guys are definitely, there's something about your spirituality right now. You may be very aware. You may be going through a spiritual awakening. You may be very in tune with yourself. Now, your person's energy, they're definitely quiet, cold, detached. Um, they may be feeling much, very much in balance right now for whatever they did. Maybe they caused a downfall obviously in a connection of some sort, and they're feeling imbalanced, right? There's four wands and versus domestic disharmony. There's a lack of peace in their life, and now they're kind of like in hiding. This is someone who has distanced themselves from their social life, from their family, their friends, from you. They're not talking. They're ghosting. This is someone who feels like, I need rest right now. I need, I need a period of quietness. Now, the King of Swords in verse, then withholding of communication, Four of Swords again. See, this is someone who's like, I don't want to talk about it right now. Just le let me be. Just leave me alone. I need time. I need rest. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of thoughts in my head. I just need to find some peace of mind. Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, they do want to clear the air with you with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Whatever they did, lied, sneaked around, cheated, been dishonest. But we see them coming towards you very, very slow. So don't expect to happen for this to happen overnight. The Knight of Pentacles is very cautious. They can have a lot of trust issues um, or just not trusting of themselves to be able to make things better with you. Maybe they felt like they really did a number on you and they feel like you don't, you wouldn't forgive them. So this is someone who's moving very toward, uh, towards you very, very slowly with the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest Knight of the deck. And we have the Two of Wands because they're wishy-washy, on back and forth, not really sure what they want, but they do want to come back. And this is someone who's slowly realizing it. The Four of Cups, they feel like they've missed an opportunity here with you. They rejected your offer. And they're realizing that there's no one else that they really want. Maybe they did have options here with the Two of Pentacles. But they're realizing that they're not really interested in that other option. And we also see with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who wants to come back and give to you emotionally. They're not happy wherever they went. They're not happy whoever they're dealing with. They're not happy what's on the other side of the road, okay? Um... And they're realizing that and they're wanting to come back. There's still a lot of emotions here, a lot of feelings. This is how they see moving forward, returning back because they're not satisfied with what they've been offered. Okay, so let's see what the justice is about. Justice is about restoring harmony and balance, especially if you guys are in separation. It could, the separation could be very much vital to bring justice to a situation here. I also feel like during the separation here, we got the fool in reverse and the devil in reverse. Your person is having to take some kind of action to release something that could be toxic for them. Whether it's a mindset or an obsession, okay, addiction or third party or karma. There's something that has to go. There's something that there could be a codependent connection. There's something that has to be released and let go. And they have to free themselves from in order to move forward with you and have this new beginning, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. We got Libra energy, Aries energy. Let's get more clarity. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Cups. I also feel like your person, um, they could be, again, very selfish, okay? And they think about themselves before other people. And that could have been creating a blockage in this connection or kept it from being able to move toward this higher level of commitment with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also seeing that there could be a lot of emotional disturbances or imbalances with regard to your person how they feel about commitment that may may also be that devil toxic energy there may be something here they have to let go regarding on um, regarding commitment maybe this is someone who was in a commitment or marriage in the past and they have some kind of doubts about it some fears about it some trust issues we got a lot of the fool came out in the verse twice this is someone who lacks trust and being able to move forward so it could be telling me that some of you guys they may be they could be a real fear of commitment. They don't feel like 
it's for them. Um, but I do see something here that could be making you guys happy, causing some kind of fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. So um, that's what I'm seeing, Aries. So take what resonates, leave the rest. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out your bonus reading, how does your person feel? What are they not saying? What's going on behind the scenes? Do check it out. It's from May 20th to the 31st. All right. You guys have a beautiful weekend. Take care.